I used to be a janitor for a high school. It was a job that I only had for about a year, and this was back in 2019. The job was not too bad, but I moved on to other things later. For the most part, when I worked as a janitor, I would work overnights in the high school and typically was all by myself. I would start at nine o'clock at night and get off at five o'clock in the morning. The high school was large, but not so big that I couldn't manage it. With all that time and the whole place to myself, I could clean everything that I was supposed to. A few times due to events on the school campus, there were some people there around the time I started, but they would usually be gone within an hour or two. I would do the things that you would expect, mop floors, vacuum, sweep, and maintain the bathrooms. Not every room in the school required attention daily, so it's not like I was cleaning every single classroom every night. I would even have some downtime where I would just go on my phone or whatever. It was honestly a decent job. The only downside was that I had to be nocturnal and work overnights and sleep during the day. The other downside was that I was all by myself all night in a school, which sometimes felt sort of creepy. Most of the lights would be off, and a lot of them were motion detected lights, so they would turn on when I went near them. One night, I was working in a random hallway cleaning the floors. It was probably about midnight or 1 a.m. I remember that I thought I heard footsteps coming from not that far away. I looked over, but saw nothing. Now, the footsteps might not have been in my sight and come from around the corner. I walked over, wondering who was in here. As far as I knew, I was all by myself, like always. When I made it to the end of the hallway, I looked around, but saw nothing. I went back over to where I had been and continued work. Maybe I had just imagined it. I wasn't 100% sure because it hadn't been very loud, but probably 10 minutes later, I heard footsteps again. This time, I knew I was hearing it. I looked to the end of the hallway, and when I did, saw a man walking by. I only saw him for a couple of seconds because he walked past the hall to another. He was only visible for a short amount of time. I could tell that it was a man though, and seemingly an adult, but beyond that, I couldn't really tell any details because he was kind of far away. I started walking over and called out, asking who was there. Nobody was supposed to be in the school at this time. Nobody answered me when I called out though. When I got to the end of the hallway and looked, he was gone. There were other hallways that he could have gone down though. I walked a little ways farther looking around and asking if anybody was there, but I saw no one and didn't hear anything either. After that, I wasn't really sure what to do. I just ended up going back to work where I had been. Some time went by, and eventually, I moved into another hallway. Probably three hours or so after the last time I saw the guy, something else happened. This time, I was facing the end of the hallway, and out of nowhere, I heard this noise behind me. I couldn't really tell what it was. I turned around and looked back, and saw a basketball rolling right in my direction. It went past me and hit a locker. When I looked up to where it had been rolling from, I didn't see anybody. I suspected that whoever was in the building stood at the end of the hallway that I was in and rolled the ball towards me. Then they moved away out of my sight, but why they did it, I had no idea. I picked up the ball and walked to the end of the hallway to where it had been rolled from. I called out once more, asking if anybody was there. Still, nobody answered me. I stood there in silence, looking around for like five minutes. I didn't see or hear anything at all. Somebody was messing with me, but I didn't know why. I mean, they weren't even supposed to be here in the first place. Once more, I went back to work. From that point on, I wasn't bothered again for the rest of my shift that day. Just before I was done, I decided to walk all around the school to look for the person. I went into every wing and hallway and asked if anybody was there in each one. I even checked all of the bathrooms, but nobody ever answered me, and I didn't see anyone either. At five o'clock in the morning, I got off, and another janitor got there. I told him about what had happened and asked him to keep an eye out for the guy. Then I left the school and drove home. During this time, I was living in a small house by myself, about 10 minutes away from the school. I got back and my typical routine was to go to bed and get some sleep. It was strange to go to sleep at like 6 a.m., but I got used to it. So on this day, 
It was probably five minutes after I got back home and I was in my kitchen. That's when I heard a knock on my front door. Instantly, I was confused. I walked over to the living room and looked out of the front window. Nobody was there. Just off in the distance, I saw a guy walking down the street. I saw him for just a second or two before he went out of my sight. It looked like the same guy who had been inside the school. I was so creeped out. I didn't fall asleep for hours. But luckily, the man never returned. And after that day, nothing like that happened in the school ever again either. I still wonder though, who he was and what he was doing. One time, I was working in an office building. It was a pretty standard building with several floors and cubicles and stuff. The building was empty overnight as far as I knew, but I was only supposed to be working on the first floor. I was supposed to be cleaning the office area and vacuum the large amount of carpet that they had on that level, as well as cleaning some other things. This story takes place on probably my second week working there. To that point, it had been very easy. I was all by myself each night, and things were going smooth. I got my work done in plenty of time typically most nights. One random night though, it was 2 a.m. and I was changing one of the trash cans. Out of nowhere, I heard the sound of glass breaking. I had no idea what was going on for a few seconds. It was just so unexpected that my brain was trying to make sense of it. Soon though, I realized the obvious, that somebody must have broken in. That's when I realized that I might be in danger. The glass breaking sound came from a ways away. There were lots of cubicles and dividers and stuff. So whoever broke in was out of my sight. I wasn't sure what to do, so I got on the ground and crawled to a cubicle. I went inside, being as quiet as I could, and then I hid underneath a desk. What I heard then was footsteps moving a ways away, but inside. I obviously didn't know who had seemingly broken into the office building or why. The footsteps started moving closer to me. I was paranoid that they somehow knew I was in here or something. They were still a long ways away and seemed to slow down a little. It was at that moment when I finally had the thought to call the police, but it was so quiet in there other than the person walking that I was afraid to. If I so much as moved a muscle, I was scared the person would hear me. I was literally sitting there completely still and almost holding my breath. Whoever was in there seemed to stop and was still a ways away. I didn't hear much, but could tell that they were staying in the same area. This went on for about two or three minutes if I had to guess. Then they started to walk again and walk closer to me. For this time, they probably moved to within about 30 feet of me and I got very nervous. I was just thinking that they might suddenly look under the desk. They stopped though, and I couldn't tell what they were doing. At that point, I really badly wanted to call the police. I just couldn't bring myself to do it though. I was convinced that if I moved at all to get my phone, the person would hear it. I reached for my pocket, but then stopped. It seemed like I was making too much noise. Then I just froze and held my breath, trying not to make a sound at all. The person remained where they were, doing who knows what. They stayed in that area for what felt like forever. I honestly don't know exactly how long it was maybe five minutes at most, but that's a long time for the situation that I was in. Finally, I heard them walking back in the direction that they came from. I continued to not move a muscle. They went pretty far away, and then I stopped hearing them at all. I wasn't sure if they had left or what. I waited for probably five more minutes without hearing them at all. That's when I finally determined that they must have left. I finally grabbed my phone and called the police. Still. I wasn't 100% sure that they were gone, so I spoke as quietly as I could. I was told that the police were on the way, and I remained hidden underneath the desk. In the time that I was waiting, I didn't hear any more noises at all. I was able to leave the area underneath the desk, and was very sure that the person had gone. When I looked around, everything seemed to be in place. The police arrived next, and I told them what happened. One of the windows a ways away was in fact broken but I had no clue if anything was stolen or not because I didn't know everything that the office building had. Nothing that I was aware of was in any different place than before. After that, I was sent home because the police were going to stay there and do more investigating. 
I returned to work there several nights later to continue with my job. For the rest of the time that I worked there, I was nervous that something like that would happen again. But luckily, there were no more break-ins. I'm not sure who exactly broke in that one night, and I never heard that much more about it. For a while, I worked as a janitor at a university. The college was about average sized, and there were several different buildings on campus. There were a few other janitors, and we would all have certain buildings that we were assigned to clean. That would change as well, so basically I would just do as I was told. When I worked, it would mostly be the afternoon into the night. I would get off at like 10 or 11 p.m. oftentimes. One night, I was working in one of the buildings that had classrooms in it. It was at the west end of campus, sort of on the edge. I got inside the building in the evening, after all the classes for the day were completed. There were still a few students around studying and such, but not very many. As the night went on, there would be less and less. Most of the time, things were very similar from one building to the other. I started cleaning some of the classrooms, and it would take me a while. By probably 9 o'clock at night, there was nobody there at all. I had cleaned quite a bit, and I was just going to finish in the building and then be done. I had about two classrooms left. Now, the building had several different hallways, lounge areas for studying, and then offices. I was making my way down one hallway when I heard footsteps up ahead in the distance. They were going to the direction of the classrooms I was going to be cleaning, and I was walking towards them. As I did, I saw a man walk into my view from around the hallway. Then he kept going. Soon, he went out of my sight. I didn't think too much of it because he was a long ways ahead of me, and I assumed that he was just a student. It was unusual for people to be here so late, but he was probably just doing some late night studying. So I kept going to the classroom that I was going to work in, and I arrived about a minute or two later. When I opened the door and went inside, the lights were off. After turning them on, the room appeared to be completely empty. I had my cleaning cart with me with lots of supplies. I began taking some things and was going to start working. Out of nowhere though, I heard a noise coming from my left. I looked over and saw that there was a man running towards me at full speed. It was the guy that I had seen just minutes earlier, and now he was aggressively charging me. I barely had any time to react. The only thing that I was able to do was move back and try to get to the door. As I was doing this, the man reached me. I felt him grabbing at my arm, and then he hit my back a little as I was moving away. Then he crashed into my cleaning cart, knocking it over, and the man fell over as well. I was able to get away from him and leave the classroom, but I could see that he was getting up to chase after me. I ran down the hallway and found a door that was a bathroom. I got inside quickly and then locked it. The man got there about 10 seconds later. Looking back, I should have tried to leave the building, but I wasn't very fast and thought that the man might catch me if I left. He tried opening the locked door and then started banging on it. Luckily, I had my cell phone on me and I dialed 911. As I got on the phone with the police, the man was still ruthlessly banging on the door. I didn't know what on earth his problem was. He continued to try to get in the door, and I didn't say anything at all. I was worried that the door would break, even though it was pretty strong. It seemed to be holding up pretty well though. The man did not let up and continued. The more he hit it, the more the door seemed to shake. But I soon heard the sound of other people in the building and I knew that it was the police. Before I knew it, they reached the man and stopped him from trying to get in. They left the building with him, and I came out to see several police officers standing around. I found out that the guy wasn't even a student at the university. I still don't know why he tried to attack me and then chased after me. I don't know what his problem was. Clearly, he was dangerous. He must have hidden the classroom, but I don't think he knew that I would go in there. Maybe he was mad at me for entering the room. I still don't know. But after that, I never had any experiences like that. I worked at that school for about another year, then I moved on. That was the most memorable moment from my time there.